then we'll also make sure that you know where you can get the rest of the answers. Okay. Thank All you, right. Can they all hear us okay? Yes. Uh huh. Can you hear us? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Okay. Hello. Hi. Thank you for selling. Yep. Of course. <laughs> I'll provide it for you. Let's go ahead and get started then, Brian. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll get started with y'all. So again, I'm Dr. Brian. Uh, we really enjoy doing a lot of these 12 minute talks to health for everything. It's our way to kind of see the changes that happen throughout all of our patients as well as our community. Uh, we like making sure that you can have some of the information for yourself, but also know where you can go to get a lot of the information. Now, I know we're going to talk about a lot of things, especially with eating healthy, so that's part of where the salad comes in. Uh, but I just want to, before I pass things over, just say thank you again for coming in, and please look us up every chance that you have, so that way we can continue to help with it. Uh, Dr. Travis is going to go over a couple of things, and then Dr. Chris will kind of wrap it up with some more of the research. Dr. Travis? Hey, guys. Uh, Dr. Travis here. So I'm in the, the Lakewood office down here in Dallas, the corner of Mockingbird and Abrams, and you know, we, we like to go out and do these talks. Normally, we're in the office with you guys or adapting to the times, but our goal is to, to educate you as much as possible. There's so much to learn about how we eat, move, and think, and to, and to stay healthy, but we can bombard you with too much stuff, and then you don't catch a lot of things, so we're going to very keep it simplistic, so you learn one thing at a time, and we're going to do this every week, and today we're talking about omega-3s, which is part of our eat well, but overall... The better we eat, we move, and we think, we get to our, our homeostasis, which is our, our balance of our body working like it's supposed to. And then, you know, like I said, our goal is just to teach you guys. So Dr. Chris is going to take over like now, teach you all guys a little something, something about omega-3s. Hey, guys, I'm Dr. Chris. Um, I'm the kind of the director of operations for both of our clinics in Texas Cairo Health. Um, so what I'm going to do with you today is go over a little bit of the research on omega-3 fatty acids. Um, a lot of us have heard a lot about omega-3s, that they're good for us, they're good for our heart, or whatever it may be, um, but it turns out that they're not just good for us, they're essential. We need them, and we're uh, not getting enough of them from our diet, uh, so it's something that we actually have to add to our diet. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, where our diet kind of started as human beings and why we need them and why it's important. And then I'll get into a little bit of the research of omega-3s and then we'll get some questions answered for you guys as well. So I'm gonna share my screen with you here. I don't know if you can really see it that well, um, but let's see what works. Cool. Okay, so I've got a couple of different things up here, but I wanna start here. Um, looking at kind of where our, our diet comes from and how we evolved. So if you look at the, I guess, last five things on the evolution chart, um, which are known species of, of man, uh, the one of the things that you'll notice is that our brain gets a lot bigger as we get towards modern man. And the reason our brain gets a lot bigger is because of the neocortex later or the outside of your brain that's, that's responsible for rational thought and things like that. So, um, one of the big reasons that it got bigger and bigger and bigger is because we started consuming omega-3 fatty acids. Now, omega-3 fatty acids are found in meat and fish, mostly. There's some in nuts and seeds and things like that as well. But uh, with the, the meat that we eat nowadays, we have a huge imbalance with conventionally raised meat that isn't grass-fed and grass-finished. Um, when a cow, for us, eats grain, the omega-3 fats in its tissue actually turn to omega-6 fats. And um, it's throwing the balance of omega-3, the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fats for us off really bad. So um, it's causing a lot of issues that we see. And I'll show you a little bit more of that in the research. Just real quick too, some of the other things that we notice is um, when we were evolving, we had a very strong immune system. And a lot of that was due to the bacteria that was present everywhere. Now we live in a pretty sterile environment, especially now. 
um, <laughs> with COVID and everything else that's going on. We're sterilizing everything constantly. Our food is sterilized and processed and everything else. And we're not getting the bacteria that we need to either. So that's another thing we need to start adding into our diet that we'll talk about on future talks. Um, and the last thing is vitamin D. We all sit inside as we all are right now, right? Um, so it's, we're not outside in the sun enough creating vitamin D. So that's become a big issue too. And we'll do future talks on that as well. But right now I just want to kind of stick to the research on omega threes and the ratio of omega threes to omega sixes. So one of, uh, one of the studies I looked at here for omega threes was done by Natami and Benet in the journal of molecular neuroscience in 2001. Um, and the main highlight from this on the slide here that I created is, uh, shows that by affecting the cell membrane and composition, the metabolism, the signal pathways, and the direct control of gene expression, sufficient omega-3 essential fatty acids and the levels of them play a key role in the prevention of human disease, such as obesity, diabetes, cancer, neurological and brain disorders, and heart disease. Okay, so what they're saying is we're sufficient in omega-3 fatty acids. It's thrown the ratio off because of the way we eat and what we consume and the fact that we cannot get enough omega-3s and not enough of us supplemented into our diet, we have a, an imbalance right now. So the typical American has a, has a ratio of one omega-3 to 20 omega-6s in their blood right now. The ratio should be in a healthy individual one to one. So we're way off right now. And it's causing, a lot of, uh, it's causing a lot of issues. If you look at this list that they discovered just from this study, obesity, diabetes, cancer, and heart disease are the top four killers in our country, which could all be curved if we had enough omega-3s and started to work on the balance of omega-3s to omega-6s. So this is a huge study for us to show that we have to put more omega-3 fatty acids into our diet. Um, so there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of studies on omega-3s now and how they play a role. But one of the biggest things I took out of this study is at the top where it says that, um, it affects cell, brain, cell membrane composition. That's for every cell in our body, including our immune system and everything else. So these fatty acids are absolutely essential for us to add to our diet. So if you're not taking one, um, it's something that you really should consider. So one of the things I want to let you guys know is we do these talks every Tuesday night. We do them at six o'clock live on Facebook, uh, but we also do them every Wednesday for different organizations, companies, and, and people around the communities. So um, if you guys have questions, yeah, you can, you can ask some questions here in a second. We'll, we'll take some time to answer a few things, but stop by one of the offices, wherever you live. If you're here in McKinney, if you're local, or if you're in, uh, if you're local to uh, Dallas, then stop by the offices. We're constantly pulling research. Everything we do is research-based um, and not your research is tough, right? Because a lot of it's marketing. So we're trying to only include, well, in fact, not trying to, we do only include uh, randomized controlled trials that are double-blinded in every single one of our studies that we present on. So this research is out there. It's solid. It's not marketing. It's not, um, it's not something we're just pushing as far as an idea of ours. It's the actual literature that is in the peer reviewed journals right now. So um, if you guys have questions, you know, stop in, talk to us. You can get a hold of us through Facebook and our website and all kinds of other stuff. But the, the truth is when, when I say obesity, diabetes, cancer, and heart disease, you know, we all know somebody who's, who's either died or suffered or gone through dealing with something like that. And we don't want to be the next person. So um, take advantage of this and, and learn from it and start to take some omega-3s. And then uh, Dr. Stevens is going to let you know where you can find us and, and everything that we can do for you. But give us a call. Check us out on Facebook. Do all that stuff. Like I said, every Tuesday night at 6, we do the same thing. So thank you guys for letting me uh, talk to you for just a minute about the research. I'm going to let Dr. Stevens wrap things up for you. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Dr. Chris. Now, I know he was mentioning some of our offers. Well, one of the biggest things that we love to do is still help out with some of the charities that we, we choose to endorse. Uh, one of those that we're working with right now is Big Brothers Big Sister. So your way to really find out exactly what's going on and how we can best help you, whether that's pain, whether that's baseline health, it's to do the $39 donation and do a spinal health assessment. From there, we can have a better idea of what's going on. Now that spinal health assessment entails x-rays, it entails muscle testing, 
uh, consultation, functional screen, balance, everything that we really need to really see where you're balanced at. Uh, so setting up from there, we can even start to see where your baseline health is with a lifestyle stress assessment and even 90 days. There are a couple of different things that we really focus on in the office, but the first step is take advantage of it. Make that first step, come in, give us a call. You can even comment in the chat section with just your name and phone number if you need to, and we can give you a call for it. Uh, but come see us. That's the best way that we know of on how we can help. Uh, Dr. Travis, do you have anything to add to it? Uh, yeah, guys, just remember, there's no one, one magic bullet to help. It's, it's how we're eating, moving, and thinking. And if we're not doing those things consistently, that's when you're going to get inflammation that pops up, pain is going to pop up, different things that we deal with every single day that we can end up helping with. So if you are dealing with anything, guys, just, just give us a call. And also on the, the omegas, it's not just, and so there's a whole other talk basically on uh, what's a good omega, what's a bad omega. So if you are taking an omega, here's a, a, a name choice that we use. If you are taking omega-3s and have questions on them, give us a call, shoot us over the label, and we'll talk you through what's good, what's bad, what you're looking for, and if we need to change on top of that. And then uh, next week, guys, on Wednesday, we're going to go more sort of, we're going to do eat well again on intermittent fasting. And so we'll be hitting the research on that as well. Do you have anything else to add, Chris? Yeah, just one, one thing real quick on the omega-3s is uh, Dr. Travis is right. Supplements in general are very tough in the United States. None of it's regulated. Um, so you can actually, they've studied, they've, you can put things on the shelves that have absolutely nothing in them. Um, or that are completely synthetic and actually are harming the body versus helping the body. So like I was saying earlier, get your questions answered. That's the biggest thing. Give us a call. Let us know. Stop by the office. We're always here um, and we're here to help you guys out. So we really appreciate you letting us interrupt your day in this new normal, I suppose, <laughs> way of doing it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy your salads. If you have any questions you want to type in there, we're going to hang around for a couple of minutes. And then uh, if not, get a hold of us. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.